Yo, Nicholas F. What's up, man? Hey, you ever had like some don't forget the F type shit like Wayne? Uh, you know what? I used to switch like, I used to rhyme my name with something. So it used to be like Nicholas F. Pistols and texts. <laughs> yeah. Nicholas F. Whistles and refs. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas F. Nipples and breasts. Like it was just all, we was just fucking around though. We was young just playing around with it. Yeah. Then, no, so you, so you probably got like one of like the most double entendre ready names type shit. Rhymes I mean, with I mean, a lot I mean, of stuff. I mean, multi, multi type Yeah, name. multi-syllabic. Yeah, rhymes with a lot, for sure. Yeah. My name Nero and shit, so all I can, all I can do is a couple things with it. Like, <laughs> every now and then, I think of some creative shit to do with it, but... Yeah. Because, and everybody, somebody shot me out, it's like, they, they rap, they rhyming with Eddie Guerrero or some shit. It's just get kind of cliche. Yeah. Type <laughs> shit. Hey, yo. Hey, hey tell me about the, the new project, yo, The Specimen, yo. Hey, man. Uh, the Specimen is a unique journey uh, that... You know, you don't get every day. You know what I mean. So it's kind of like a, it's like a, it's an audio comic book essentially. You know what I'm saying? You got narrative and you got music intertwined with it. And so, you know, it's it's not your normal listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a fun listen though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not a normal listen because I'm listening to it in the car type shit, and it's like. It, 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 and that shit fire type shit, but like, it's, it's, I'm like that shit hard type shit. You know, I'm trying yeah. to get my research going. Man, that shit hard type shit. So I'm locked in. Then the skit come on. I'm like, ah, oh, hell, this hard. And then like a minute later type shit, I <laughs> I be forgetting what the fuck I'm doing type shit. So yeah. I got run. This, I had to like run the song back. But that's one of my questions. Like, did you like? It, it's like you was like fuck it. Like you you know you just wanted. That's what you wanted to do type shit. Cause, I just wanted to try something. Cause you know like. You know, like the generations and shit, like the ADHD is at, at an all time high type shit. Yeah, nah, for sure. You know, I just wanted to try something. And to be honest, like, I think it's one of those things that, like, with time, it'll be, it'll get even more appreciated. Like, I, there, there was a lot of people that appreciated it. Um, and a lot of people that liked the songs, you know. Um, yeah, I appreciated it too. Yeah. And, but, but I think it's a, also a thing that's just kind of like uh, age really well, you know. And, and and what and what what was like, what was like the meaning behind them? I know I know um, one of them was like about like people flying around, like defying gravity. Yeah. So like, it's a, it's an ongoing story, right? And it's it's a uh, it, it it has there's a lot more to come, right? Uh, but it's kind of like a learning curve with some of the other pieces, you know what I mean? That we want to put together. So this is kind of like. A project for right now, yo, it's just for people to kind of like hold on to, listen to it, and enjoy it, but know that there's going to be a lot more development of the character and all that coming along. You know what I mean? Yeah. How would you feel about like the NFT wave? Because that that reminds me of that. Like, yeah, I've had people some talk to type shit. My bad. Yeah, nah, I, nah, my bad. I cut you off. Uh, I've had people talk to me about it. Um, but you know, like, I still never really got. I got it. Like it didn't. It didn't. It didn't click for me. Like yeah. in terms of just like. I think it's like my generation, my era, I like to hold the things that I collect. You know what I'm saying? So I collect actual comic books and I like to put them on the shelf. You know what I mean? I like to put them in the plastic and take them out the plastic. For real? You know what I'm saying? And flip through them joints. Yeah, like, you know, excuse me, like experiences and uh, souvenirs. You know, like th those are the things that kind of like resonate with me. So yeah. like the NFT is is cool, you know, um, and I ain't I ain't uh, knocking nobody that do them or got them or that sent to them, you know what I mean? But for me, I kind of like more tangible things. Yeah, and and maybe I'll get more educated on it. You know what I'm saying? No, I think, my I, words. I think that, I think they um I think they bit they bit that bullet with the NFT shit. Like, yeah, I think like that shit ain't really play out how it's supposed to type shit. Yeah, I, you know, I wonder like you know. Uh, you know, my, my children, you know, they love to, you know, play their games, Royal High or whatever, and they got all their belongings and things that, you know, they own and collect there. I mean, shit, look, I ain't going to hold you. Like, uh, I play Call of Duty Mobile, right? Like, I got all the guns, like every legendary, every mythic gun, you know what I'm saying, that you could have in the game I bought and I got. Yeah. So I, I guess I kind of do got my own NFTs in a way, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. they go bang, bang, pow, pow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I think the aspect of like um, being able to like purchase some much digital stuff on your phone, like with kids. Like I just started working in the school, and it's like um, the art teacher was like, "Hey, y'all gonna make these um these cer cer ceramic whatever ceramic type mm -hmm. bowls, and then y'all gonna um 
put them in this show and people are gonna buy them. Like you're one of the Asian kids, just like, are we gonna get any money from that? Like, yeah. I asked him, like, what? I look at one of the other assistants, I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, I ain't never, like, we yeah. wasn't thinking like that. Yeah. We, we would either not want to do it or. Or I'll be hyped that I made some shit. Yeah, you know I remember my, my joint. Yeah. My joint's still in the crib. Nice, nice. If I'd have had one, I probably would have broke it. <laughs> Why you say that? Because I was just clumsy. You know what I'm saying? I but clumsy too. And yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I used to make the, what, with the bird feeders with the pine cone. In yeah. the in the in the peanut butter and the butter, man, I used to crush them joints. I make that shit just like, on the on the bus ride home. Just like. <laughs> wild, yeah, man. Hey, hey what, what was it like coming up in Richmond? Uh, so I, I moved to Richmond when I uh, in ninth grade. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, me for me coming up in general, I was a military brat. You know what I mean? I moved every two to three years. I was always the new kid in school, um, and you know. When I got to Richmond, uh, you know, Richmond Richmond is home to me. One, I've been there for over 20-some, 30, like, yo, I could throw, I could date myself. I don't think it's that many years, but like 20-some years, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, all my import, port, important uh, memories were from there. But, uh, you know, growing up in Richmond, Richmond is like, Richmond is a beautiful city. Um, it, it is, you, you have your mix of urban and nature in the same spot. You have art. You have amazing food. You have great music. Um, you have a great local culture. You know what I mean? Of you just VCU. like creatives. You have VCU. Y'all had, y'all had Kings for like hella long. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's a really beautiful place, man. Uh, you know, there, there's beautiful art on the walls. There's galleries. There's always things to do. Um, and like, you know, if you want to get involved in the scene out there, there are ways. Yeah. You know, so it's a good place. So, so. That um that brings me to this question. So, when you were doing a lot of come up on on the hip hop tip in Richmond, how was it like? You know, you like I said earlier, you probably was buying everybody. So it was like niggas would probably crown you or say, "Yo, you doing you doing this for Richmond?" And probably niggas that's probably like, well, you or, know, or you might have felt like, nah. Well, it it was a different era, right? So like, you know, uh, one of the blessings of this era is that you can. Make a song, create a profile online, come up with a name, post it, and now you're a rapper. Right. Right? Um, at the time that I was coming up and developing, um, you more so had to prove it. Right? So, like, you would walk around and say you're a rapper. Right? And say you, like, walk into a barbershop. You're going to get your hair cut. Yo, I rap. What you do, man? What? Yo, I rap. Man, you don't rap. <laughs> nah, 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 for real. Nah, I'm nice. Yo, for real. I'm nicer than anybody you know. Not, well, let me hear something. Niggas done heard that. Well, well that, that, day. that was the let me hear something era. So if you said you rap, it was like, all right, well, let me hear something. And then you had your moment to either Shine. impress, you know what I'm saying, or or collapse, you know what I'm saying, or fold, or drop the ball and figure out how to do better next time, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. But it was a it was a thing where like it was where eventually people would be like, oh, all right, nah, you official. Right, you know, like if if you say you rap, let's see what you made of. But nowadays it's like, yo, I rap. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yo, the Ravens. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, niggas yeah. don't want you to put the phone up today. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that, nah, that's fire. Though. You have any memories of like of some shit like niggas underestimated you? Like, like the air you talking about? I mean, yeah, for sure. Like, you know, uh, I can just, I can go back to, um, you know, like school age, right? Like, uh. These are these are the formative years where like we're all forming our identities, right, and becoming who we're gonna be. And um, like I said, I was always the new kid. And but one thing, dog, oh, let me say this first. I started I started making music seriously in my mind, <laughs> seriously in sixth grade. Um, I, I I started writing. Uh, I taught myself how to record. You know what I mean? At that time, and I didn't have no computer programs. I ain't had no four track recorder or nothing. I had a stereo, uh, a two cassette deck with the CD on top, and it had the speakers. You used to be able to like unplug, like un- like uh, detach them, and you know, set them on different sides of the room. They were attached by a wire. Yeah, it would have a headphone jack and it would have a microphone jack. Um, I'm here, hell yeah, right. Um, and so, so peep this, so, uh, my mom had this keyboard, right? It was hers. It wasn't mine, but, uh, 
I started messing around with it, right? And um, at the time, I was writing my raps to other instrumentals and stuff, and I wanted to learn how to make my own beats, right? Mm-hmm. So I ended up one day. I ended up uh, plugging my headphones into the microphone jack, right? Oh, some accident shit. Yeah, and I realized that if you talk into one of the headphones, that it's gonna pick up like a microphone, right? So I had this idea where I took a cassette tape, I set it to record, and I put that headphone that's plugged into the microphone jack on the speaker of the keyboard. And I turned it all the way up, hit record, and played my drum beat for two to three minutes. Boom, 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 right? Stopped the tape, rewound it, took this tape, switched them, and then I dubbed that drum loop from the first tape onto the second one, right? Well, before I did that, I switched the instrument on the keyboard, got my little piano or whatever, figured out my melody, hit record, so I copied the drums, from this tape onto this tape while playing my melody. You know what I'm saying? And then so now on this tape. Yeah, it's like sixth, seventh grade. Like I started writing in sixth, seventh grade is when I started doing this. Mm-hmm. I had, uh, so now I'm on this tape, I got my, uh, I got my drums and my piano. And, you know, I add one more instrument, like a little bass note or something, switch them again. Boom, now I record the piano and drums onto this one, play my little one bass note. Now I got a beat. You can barely hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been dubbed three times, right? But then next, plug it, and then I do my rap. Right. You know what I mean? But I have my little tapes, you know what I mean, and my little songs around, like, seventh, eighth grade. So by the time I got to ninth grade, I had already been rapping for, like, three years. Like, I was serious. Right. You know, that's what I spent my time doing in classes. Um, So, you know, um, Ninth grade, uh, I'm a brand new student, right? Out, out and there's a, yeah, right. And there's a uh, there's a homecoming game, and they had a bonfire at that game, and a cipher broke out. It was mostly upperclassmen, right? I was, yo, I was, um, I could see this shit. That's like my favorite type shit to watch. Yo. Yeah, a whole a cipher broke out, and uh, it's you know, niggas started rapping and whatnot, and then there was a break. And I jumped in. Nobody knew who I was. Um, and I snapped because I was already three years deep, like, in it. You know what I'm saying? Serious. Like, there was a lot of guys that was just starting at that time. I was, I was younger, but I was the senior, you know what I mean, um, in terms of just my tenure and writing rap. So, like, you know, I made a name for myself that, that, that night, you know what I mean? And when I came back to school that next Monday, Niggas knew who I was. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, oh, nah, that's shorty. Who, but you went by? Who was, yo, man, who knows? Yo, like, <laughs> yo, I had some, nah, I, I went through a bunch of rap names coming up, yo. Like, the, the, the first one, yo, for real, for real, I'm going to keep it honest, yo. I'm going to be honest. Yo, this shit is crazy. The Amazing. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> you know hey, what I'm saying? Like, like, remember, remember the little shit we just talking about, the art shit? My, the little shit, my shit said D1. Okay, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It was it was wild, man. But then like I had this. What you, uh, you, you say your shit was the amazing? D amazing. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? My my real name, my government started with D, so yeah. it was D amazing. You know what I mean? But yo, to be honest, that was short lived because I was always changing names. Then I got like, you know, like I started getting into like other shit, like like uh it was like Knuckles the general son, right? Like um, on some on some um Sonic shit? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, on the Knuckles shit, yeah, yeah. but like the general son was like more of a ode to oh, like yeah, one of the, yeah, you know what I'm saying, my pops and then also like on some like uh some like Wu Tang shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like the Wu Tang affiliate type shit, you know what I mean? So Yeah, you fuck with Wu Tang? Yeah, 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 I did. Yo, I mean, that was a uh, that was the era like of course, rock rock with Wu Tang heavy like you know what I'm saying? I had my Wallies. You know what I'm saying? I had, you know, the Woo Wear. You know, like, young with it. But that was, yeah, that was the era. Yeah, hell yeah, shit. Nah, that's fire shit. Hey, shit, man. Since we already halfway kind of through, I'm, I'm about to kind of try to speed it up, Tyson. Mm-hmm, yeah. And get some shit off that I want to really ask you, yo. Yeah. Yo, I told my mans I was interviewing you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, my algorithms wasn't showing me everything. I was seeing hella platform performance videos mm. i seen some some fire legendary shit you got you feel me 
My man sent me the um freestyle, the um, one system park freestyle Friday shit. Mm-hmm. I had that senior shit as a kid. Like that's all I watched. Niggas used mm-hmm. to rush home Fridays, probably go get our Pokemon cards if we was good that week. And then we was too. watching that shit. Yeah. yeah. What, yo, just what was what was that experience like now? Like so you see what I'm doing now is like yeah. it's like so it's minute it's so minimal to compared to how the platforms were back then. Yeah. Uh the internet is a great equalizer. You know what I mean? Um uh, and so yeah, like, you know, one oh six and park was a was a really dope experience for me. It gave me a lot of exposure. Uh it was another test, right? Uh another test of stepping up and yeah. was that the first like exposure move you kinda had? Nah, um, so like the, my very first bit of exposure um, came when I was going into senior year, like the summer of my 11th grade year, after my 11th grade year, uh, I did a, a, a battle. Um, it was uh, for the Source Unsigned Hype, and, you know, they were going around to different cities, um, and they were doing battles, and then, you know, the winners went on, did more battling. So uh, I ended up winning for Richmond, Um and, you know, that was my first kind of kickoff. And that was, you know, when people started coming around, I started, you know, I had a manager and all of this stuff. And people started taking me serious as an artist, you know. Um, that was that was kind of like my senior year of high school. So, so like, at, so going off that buzz, the 106 and Park shit, how, how was that process like? All right, so, yeah, the, the 106 and Park came a bit, a bit um, later down the road. Uh, but <laughs> it's crazy. I actually got recommended uh for 106 and park um by loaded lux of all people like yeah one of the ghosts like loaded lux and you on the source shit yeah nah nah so at the time he had came to richmond um and i think they were shooting a dvd out there at one point in time there was a cypher that um broke out i jumped in that um did my thing we exchanged information you know what i mean we actually did some songs like uh on my how to build a buzz for dummies you know what I'm saying? Uh, tape, which is from long, long time ago. I'm, but I'm gonna tap in. I'm gonna he, tap in. I got to Yeah, that. I got a verse from him on there. It was was the cover yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> now let me say, yo, like, yo, I don't, I don't know how we, how somebody can do the, do this history on this, but like, I think I might have been the first person to ever do a how to build a buzz for or how how to for dummies right. mixtape. Like honestly, because those books had just came out at that time, and then like I was like. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. did did this shit like based off of seeing those for the first time. Dang, I wish we had a fucking like I, I don't want to say time machine, but I wish I was there. Like I, yo, I just wish I I wish I could see everything that you're talking about because that's the shit that got me to this point. Like just living well, and dying by this shit. Like, well, I'll, I'll say this though, like you know, like a lot of that we, we we didn't have the same avenues. You know what I mean? Like there were there were a few roads that you could go through, you know what I'm saying, or travel to kind of, like, get to where you wanted to get to. You need to need, either need to get on radio, you need to get on TV, or, like, one of the big magazines. But, like, right. now we have our own cameras. We can get our own spaces, our own microphones, or, you know what I'm saying, and blast our voices out to the world. Right. So it's, it's a beautiful thing, both oh, ways. Yeah. So on the one system park type shit, I seen the I seen the one joint do cuss and shit. But you you fucked them up though anyway. Like yeah, I ended up freestyling after that. I remember I just yeah. freestyled off the top of my head. I was like, y'all already just for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, it just <laughs> did something. Yeah, literally just off the top of my head. Yeah, no, nah, niggas used to rest on to watch that shit. Yo, can I ask you like, yo, I don't like asking questions like this, like I said, but yo, like, like yo, you work with Drake and like mm-hmm. the especially like recently, everybody talking about that. Area, like you don't rap how I used to rap. Da da da. Like mm-hmm. like this. Can you, what was what what was what was that experience like? Like my man's told me like you know how Drake like he was like yeah Drake was showing Virginia big love like yeah around yeah. that time yeah man like yo uh, Drake Drake was really into the raps you know what I mean um, just like we were you know what I mean and that's that's why we connected and how we connected like he was we were into the same sort of like raps you know what I mean um, and like even still to this day like I think I think. Uh, I think his pen is still sharp. You know what I mean. I think like when he when he's so he was really pinning that shit. Like that's a fact. Yeah, yo. yeah. He's he's a really he's really a rapper. Yo. Yeah. He really does that. So yeah. That goes right. All that all that shit is just all that shit is just industry. Like that's just. I mean, what goes yeah. On. It's just it's just what goes on with the industry. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, it's it's honestly it's like a a certain era that kind of like holds on to things. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A certain way, like 
eventually you just realize like music is music. You know what I mean? And like yeah. if the song is good, the song is good. We know who can we we know the rappers know. You know what I mean? Like the rappers know. Like rappers, rappers, we know who's who's really dicing it up and who's really doing whatever. You know what I mean? Um and so like yeah, he 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 really gives it up. Because you gotta think about it. When he gets in that bag, like that rapper bag, like there's nobody else in the industry that's really rapping like that, you know? So, so yeah, that's gotta be him. Hell yeah. So what was it like 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 on some timeline shit, like when y'all worked together, like what was going on for him? Was it like so, comeback season type shit? Yeah, so that was that was the that was the, the MySpace era, right? This is post mixtape era. This is uh you know, the internet is still like the wild, wild west, right? Um that was like your MySpace and what you have, your like top eight or whatever it was. Yeah, but, yeah. Um it was Lime Wild like like hot new hip hop type shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So um, you know, like I think uh I think I had I had put out a, a project at the time, you know what I mean? And he had rocked with it and he hit me up and you know, we ended up doing a couple of joints back and forth through email and put them on the net and like people really took to them joints. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Shit. But is 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 it like the perception of it like a lot of people like attached on to it, like damn bro, bro work work with Drake type shit, like uh yeah yeah I mean <clears throat> it goes both ways right like you know you got your people uh who will try to like go through you to get to him mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like of course you get a lot of that and then you know uh yeah I feel like yo I ain't know that shit till t- t- today yeah you I mean like, yeah I ain't know that I mean, shit till we, we was already here like you know what's what's weird is like uh there's a big sector of uh my fans specifically who don't like. They didn't want to let that go, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, that people, era of him, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, so I wouldn't even just say my fans though. Like, I was going to say like the my fans always just wanted to see us work together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the but like you know he he has he has fans of different gen in different generations, right? So because he's he's been he did it for long enough to the point where like there are, there are new fans that grew up and got into his music at a different point of his career. You know what I'm saying, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying. After those, the earlier days, yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Hell yeah, shit. So, 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 what's it like now moving around? Like, yo, like you everywhere, bro. Like, like when I was researching, you like, yeah, everywhere. Like, so what's like, what's the what's that process like now? Like, is it just like a full time music grind? I mean, nah. Like, yo, I, I work, I work a day job, y'all. I work a really cool day job, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I won't name the company, but. uh you know, I do some creative direction at a, at a pretty nice tech company. You know that's what I'm saying? Hard. And I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, so that's goals, bro. I'm a, trying to get on some shit like that. Like, yeah, nah, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Um, uh, and I get to you know still be creative every day. Um, and then you know, I it still provides me the time or allows me the time. Yeah, you still go to, around to, with that torch to do what I you know what I'm saying around, to do travel what I do. with that torch and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. And uh, you know, like I said, I've been I've been off of the I had been off the scene for a few years, just kind of like getting my life my life in order. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Get my ducks in a row. Hey, know? no pun intended. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for somebody to say that shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that's hard. Yeah, that's the. Hey, you ducks know, I just started. Row, right? I just started working. Um, like this is my today was my officially my fifth day because it was like snow days and shit. But a lot of my part of my journey, I just was kind of thinking like, you know, it went from working. To investing in myself, to, like to get here type shit, but mm-hmm. then I kind of like the pandemic came, it, mm-hmm. it let niggas go. That shit kind of opened my mind. Like, damn, like if I ain't just cop this camera, like I'd be fucked up type mm-hmm. shit. Like, I had just graduated college, took me hella long to graduate college. Yeah, and I had to graduate on the. Yo, it took me like ten years. I went went through so much shit to graduate college. And I had to. I didn't even like watch the, the Zoom. Like from I watch the Zoom, I don't even really talk to everybody. That go ahead, like yeah. But I graduated and I just kind of hopped right into the freelance and shit. So, and I kind of just was on some like shit. 2020, 2021, the music video shit, and everybody had the extra money, so that shit was, was yeah. different. And I, it, I ain't gonna lie, I was blaming myself the years after, like, damn, what the fuck is different? And I, got, like, I had to start looking, like, falling back and seeing the climb and this shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I just always felt like I needed to have my time available for the opportunities, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't until I started doing this shit to where I started really having confidence in what I've been building type shit. Like, mm-hmm. even though it's been all scattered type shit. Yeah. So I'm like, man, 
the motherfuckers telling me I'm, they proud of me, but I'm broken than I ever. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it was like, nah, but fuck you, it. I'm gonna be that nigga that that created that work. Yeah, that nigga about to go to work tomorrow though. Yo, that nigga gotta leave. Gotta go. I'm about to yeah. be that type of creator. That's that's the beautiful thing where you you get to dictate your day. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that's the beauty of it. And I would even say, like I said, yo, I'm I'm still adjusting to the whole internet thing. Like it's I'm. Yo, I, I spend so much time away. I'm really not that comfortable on it, right? Like, I'm I'm happy and comfortable in my lab, like creating. You know what I mean? Working on shit, and uh, I'm I'm still getting used to being in front of cameras and taking pictures and all of that. Like, you know, it should be awkward for me. You know what I mean? But uh, ultimately, I want people to listen to my music. You right. Know what I, mean? I want them to enjoy it. Yeah. Really, that's really that's really ultimate. I want people to enjoy it, yo, because. Uh, I oddly enjoy making it, you know? Yeah. Let's say, go back to what you said earlier, though. You had to do so much before you even put the headphone to vocal, get the yeah. vocals. So that kind of, like, translate into your grind. Like, there's so much yeah. shit you got to do before you can even rap, or now so much shit you got to do before motherfuckers listen type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yo, like, it's, it's the, like, and I ain't even going to say it's cliche or it's corny because it's just the truth, right? I do this shit because I love to do it, yo. It's like what I like to do. You know what I mean? Like, I I like fucking around with the words, yo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I like writing. I like reading. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you so, say, yeah, I seen it. You heard that on the album. Like, you said you, you like a geek. How you, yeah, how much you I'm read. Damn near a book. Yeah, I'm damn near a nerd with all these books that I read yearly. She, they ask about how the shoes lace, and I explain string theory. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying? come on, man. Like, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yo, niggas don't, niggas, they ain't even hear the freestyle. They ask about how the shoes lace, and I explain string theory. My mind is a high clarity diamond. I think clearly. Yeah. Like, come on, man. One of my favorite joints on the tape is He Rose. Yeah, that's yeah. one of my favorite joints too. What's that like? Is that like? Is that like a um, religious um, reference? Nah, well, I mean, you could say that. Yeah, uh, I kind of looked at it. Um, like, talking about my story, right? Like, you know, my last project that I had dropped was in 2018, right as I graduated college, you know what I'm saying, at the tender age of mid-30s, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, I was uh, 27. Yeah, you know, and I, 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 took, a, I took a break, um, you know, to get the ducks in a row. But like, like I said, when I came back, man, I felt like I was coming out the cryo chamber. I was, you know... Uh, Getting my footing again, yo, and I rose. You know what I mean? I was on ice for a bit, but I rose. And then, you yeah. know, also when my Lazarus. last, yeah, like like my my project before that was called Stuck. Mm. You know what I mean? And I, I named it that because at that point in my life where I was, that's kind of like how I felt. But it was it was an optimistic album because the the mantra was I was stuck, but I got up. You know what I mean? And so the he rose kind of like played off of that. I got up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Angle from the previous tape. Yeah. And and it it's came continuity. It came right at the um it came it came like right at the self savior, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like talk about like like the um the structure of the tape. Like why why I put them songs together? I mean, you know, it was it's kinda like uh my character in the story. Um so I don't wanna I'll I'll give you all a little bit of the plot, man. The plot is uh there is a guy, my character, um, specimen 6 432 3. He, hard, yeah. he wakes up, comes out of a cryo chamber, and he's greeted face to face with uh, with Captain, you know what I'm saying, the Colonel. And he tells him, like, yo, we saved you. You was, you was pretty much done for, you know what I'm saying? We brought you back here. We, we nursed you back to life. You've been, you've been in cryo sleep for five years, but. The good thing is you got you got enhanced abilities, powers, and everything. Like, and if you train and you listen to us, you'll be able to make the most of it, yeah. right? And uh, you know, then they you know they present to him that like, yo, you uh, you're gonna have to be a hero though. Like, we we need like the city's yeah, bad, yeah. and and we're gonna need some people to like fight on the side of good. And you know, my my character woke up with some kind of like. Deeply embedded, like uh, some AI resentment. robot shit. Like, well, yeah, I mean, he was it was there was like resentment. He didn't necessarily want to be a hero. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, he, like, he's just waking up. Like, he just just want to do me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he ended up realizing that you know, um, you know, he, he all right. So he he had that resentment. You know, he realized that ultimately it was up to him to save himself, and it's up to him to like get himself up on his feet. You know what I mean? So uh, that's the thing with this shit for real. Yeah, I mean the whole the whole album is a journey. You know what I mean? Uh, 
it starts from the cold, you know what I mean, and it and it ends, you know, with with some fire going on. So yeah, no, I'm gonna tap in. Shit, man, you got a fan in me, like Toy Story. <laughs> do you do you ever do you ever read comics or have you ever read comics? No, my father was big into comics. I, yo, I ain't gonna lie, like 2021. Yo, I was at um. I, mean, I just told you about when I was on stage with Supreme at the Method Man show mm-hmm. and shit. Yo, Supreme is different, yo. Like that whole Wu Tang like saga. That shit is mm-hmm. like them niggas is different. Wu Tang for the yeah. kids, like all that shit is like beautiful thing. It's like yeah, it's, it's powerful. Like bro, mm-hmm. just ride the samples and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But like when you travel, with bro, like he was like, yeah, we went with my man's crib for real, leaving a couple hours. Hey, bro, I'm just we were just gonna sleep, leave in the morning. Hey, bro, we gonna wait. Da da da. We gonna we gonna do this. We gonna eat good. Da da da. We was mm. there for like another day and a half type shit. Yeah. So the niggas, they, them niggas went to go Instacart type shit. Like, yeah. you know, niggas gotta we floaters. That's what the floaters mean. Like, niggas gotta do more than one thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, bro, just open up a method man, and now bro doing the Instacart type shit. You feel yeah. me? And um, so his man's his man's name was Devin too. What's my name type shit? He was like, yo, bro, whatever's in the fridge. You know what I mean? We got the fire stick in there. This shit bootleg, whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, shit, I'm about to just. I know the Marvel shit. I probably seen a couple scattered. I'm like, mm-hmm. but I, I be on Reddit and shit. And niggas be talking about the MCU, the order, yeah. the the chronological order. Yeah. So that that's when I was like, I right, I started like the Captain America shit for real. Mm-hmm. So that shit really got me into some comic. I, I really fuck with the comic book shit, but I wasn't really on that shit growing up though. Yeah, but like, but when I say I don't even mean like superheroes. I mean like mm-hmm. physical comic books. Have you ever like? Read physical comics, yeah, like yeah, collected yeah. them at all. No, I ain't collect yeah. them. My pops had them, so it was kind of like don't touch them shit. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, nah, now nah, respect yo. Like you know, one of the first people that I was buying comics from was like uh, this this guy that lived in the neighborhood, and he had so many. He turned his basement, you know what I'm saying, and you know he had them all like on shelves in the basement. And he would just like sell them yeah. to us, you know what I'm saying? Like take little allowance money, or Christmas money, right. or whatever. And then go pick out some comic books, you know what I mean, a few houses down, you know what I mean. But and that should translate into your artistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I like I said, yo, it's I just I just think it's I just think it's a uh, it's an interesting medium, and I don't think uh I think that if more people just kind of like well, uh, invest, just like explore, you know what I'm saying, like they they probably find some good reading, you know what I mean, they probably find some things they they enjoy in there, or some innovative shit to incorporate, yeah. with, with this like all this content and, and, and shit. some and some imagination. Right, yeah. like yeah, that's that's one thing I'll say. Like I might cut this out. I don't want niggas to get this up. Let me yeah. let me develop something real quick and come back. Yeah. I mean, I just fucked up that my father ain't letting me touch the comic books. I just realized that's probably why I ain't fuck with him because we couldn't touch him. Yeah, I mean, look, maybe, maybe you know what I'm saying. Like, look, my my pops brought me a couple. You know what I mean? That he told me might be worth something someday. Don't open them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, hey, can you shout the floaters? Look, man, it's Nicholas Seth. We up here from RVA 804, man. Came up here to be more showing love to our to our sister state. You feel what I'm saying? Drop by, shout out to the floaters. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all check me out. Follow me on Instagram, nicholasf.com. Y'all run that freestyle up. You feel what I'm saying? That shit it, gonna go crazy. Yeah, it's gonna go <laughs> stupid, man. Hey, sh- hey, how you feel about the DMV? Now, now, yeah. now you call niggas just the sisters and shit. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, I got yo, I got love for all the music, you know what I'm saying, and all the areas. Like uh, before it was like, you know what I'm saying, like all all what it is now. Like yo, we we had homies up here. We came up here. We rock. You know what I mean. Uh, and so you know, I got I got love for all of it. Yo, the DMV saying? used to mean Delaware and Maryland, Virginia, didn't it? Yeah, it did at one point. <laughs> <laughs> like the map used to say that shit. Yeah, DMV. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I'm. Yeah, I thought that's what it meant. Right. You know what I'm saying. Been DC, Maryland. And I ain't gonna lie, they be like playing with Virginia. Yeah, nah, yo. yeah, nah, nah. They play, with, they play with Richmond though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't but, never heard niggas rap like I, I'm, that's why yo. Nah, nah, oh, like, nah, 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 nah. Let me say this though. Let me say this. No, nah, yo. Richmond got rappers, yo. Like we really put that pen to the paper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like niggas really rap and like if if anybody ever that wanna come down, too, yeah, if niggas ever, ever wanna come down and rap and get on a stage with uh. You know what I'm saying? 30 other competitive MCs, you know what I mean, that show up every month, yeah. you know what I mean, like uh, in a competitive fashion to win a cypher, you know what I mean, and and really test that pin work and get reaction from a crowd and try to move a crowd, come on down, man. RVA Rapidly, we do it every single month, and it's where the rappers show up, you know what I mean, show up and show I'm out. Gonna, I'm going to pull up, man. Yeah, tell any, any, anybody who, who, who really with that pin work, tell them come and put it in. 
That's what pause, big pause. Whoever, <laughs> yo, if you can, yo, that pen work, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like come come display that. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? In the city that you know, we yeah, we we really do our thing out there. Hey, your last question. What what Marvel character well, what comic book character will you be? Man, look, yo. That that's a that's a good question, man. Uh if if like off the top of the head, man, I gotta go with Logan, man. Wolverine, like, you know what I'm saying? Fam tear shit up, he get up close and personal. You know what I'm saying? He take a lot of damage, yo, but he always heal. He always bounce back. He always ended the fight again. He always complete the mission. You know what I mean? And like that that's 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 a spirit animal there, if I ever heard of one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shit, can you go get my No, I ain't gonna do that. I got a, I got a Batman mask I'll be wearing sometime. I'll be looking oh. <laughs> I, I, just, I just look out the window and shit that's sometimes. Just, he, he he rock with Batman. Like, yo, yeah. I always always been more on the on the Marvel side of things, yo, I rock with Image, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. from the independence. I, I rocked with uh D C but not all that much to be honest with you. I wasn't really into the like superhero con- uh the Superman yeah, joints that like that. Squad shit was corny, wasn't it? Yeah, it really wasn't my thing, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I was in the I was in the X Men era, like, like, and there was a Saturday morning animated joint. You know what I mean? Like, but I grew up reading Chris Claremont. You know what I mean? Jim Lee drawing, Jay Lee, uh, yeah. Mark Texaria, like the that that the the comic book era I came up in was like the big guns, shoulder pads, artillery. You know what I'm saying? Scantly yeah. scantly dressed women, scantly clad women. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it was it was it was like macho. You know what I mean? And yo, since you said it. since you said the big words and shit, yo, what did you mean? You said some shit on one of these. I used to say like, yo, I got the um, I got the um, the two fifths that a uh, um, I have no idea. Break the cord out your quadrant. Some Ooh. shit. Now you it's oh, a quarter tear, missing. Tear, now you tear a quarter out your quadricep. Oh <laughs> yeah, the deuce. Yeah, the deuce five. A tear a quarter out your quadricep. So like, I mean, those things are all like. So the deuce five, right? Twenty five. A quarter is twenty five, and then a quad is also like a four, four a fourth of a whole. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's twenty five, twenty five. So the deuce five. A tear a quarter out your quadricep. Yeah, it's just kind of like some wordplay. It's all in the same vein. But th- I mean, this is the thing though, like. You know, I like to use all those literary devices. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I I enjoy doing that. You know what I'm saying? Playing with those words, making those connections. You know what I mean? And pe- like really piecing them wraps up, man. Hey, what? Hey, yo. I hey, yo. Oh, real quick. All 2024, that's what we doing, man. Yeah. We piecing these wraps up. Like, I'm really out here to show, like, the pen game is different, yeah. yo. And I really do that. Yeah. It's the, it's that's the, that's, it's that's the what I'm here to talent. do. It's the year of talent. Like, there's a lot yeah, of gimmicky man. key shit been yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pandemic yeah. and all, like, this internet yeah. shit. But I, I feel like the talented niggas. Yeah, I'm really, like, I'm really here to show, like, the, the power of this, my yeah. mind. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I didn't do the. I didn't go through the school, and I didn't do the reading or none of that for nothing. Like I'm yeah. not gonna come out here and try and dumb myself down or act like, you know what I'm saying. I'm not intelligent or I'm not educated and not utilize the things that I've learned. You know yeah. what I mean. And and cut off half my vocabulary because people might not be comfortable with a couple of words. Like, hey, yo, I used to learn shit from from the rappers I listened to. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying. I used to listen to Jay and go Google shit, go look shit up. You know what I'm saying. Like so. And that's what a bunch of rappers, you know what I mean? I think the the hip hop, the music should still continue to like educate and motivate and inspire. And we can still get on our rah rah. We can get yeah. on a bullshit. We can have fun. But at the end of the day, it's got to be balanced, yo. Uh, because there, we all are balanced individuals and beings, yo. It's duality. We got multiple sides to us. So you don't got to show the world just one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Floaters, be a complete man. human. Floaters, shit. Floaters, man. Floaters. Stop float. Nah, I'm not, let me not let me say that. I was about to try and say something, but it might have sounded. Hey, wrong, yo, that's what, that's what I'm gonna close yeah. out on. Like, yo, if you could think of, of if you can come up with like a tough like two bars right now, like if you need, like thirty a minute, you probably only need, like thirty seconds. Like, shit, what's the, what's a bar you can come up with right now? Type just some crazy shit. <laughs> I got it, yo. Uh, to be honest, like I don't know, I got so many written raps in my head, yo. I would Do just it. end up pulling out a written rap. Like I ain't even gonna. You can, you can give me an acapella type shit. Nah. Hold on, man. I ain't greedy. I'm not greedy at all. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to think, you know. Uh, uh I've I've spit a lot uh over this weekend, so I don't wanna like double down and you know what I'm saying, spit something twice. Can you give me some old shit then? Shit, I got you. Uh uh, okay, I got one for you. 
Hey, yo, the nooses couldn't break his neck when they tried hanging him. I was swinging there laughing. My spine is vibranium. Maggots in an open cut, eating out my wounds, but I gladly feed them. Thinking back when I was hungry, too. Underneath the ambiance of a red moon, you woke up to the sound of trees snapping. As my steps boom, I got the best view. 20 feet tall inside of a mech suit. Here to decorate you with flesh wounds. Mm. Hey, yo, I sleep inside a tomb. Every morning I get exhumed. Mm -hmm. Troubled kid, I was locked inside of my bedroom. Uh -huh. But made a hydrogen collider with the devices I was left to. Uh -huh. A wolf in sheep's clothing extended a hand to help you. Not knowing you'll get drowned in that water you're being led to. Now take your last breath. I wrote bad checks, hand dealt from a bad deck. You had nothing, we had less. Let's test your gag flex. I jab a straw into your abscess. Take a sip and it spit it into your sandwich. Got a heart of stone from years of them taking me for granted. Mm. You know what I'm saying that's just a little song, man. Yo, that's from that specimen. Y'all make sure y'all go pick that up, man. Pick up the specimen. Listen to that. Yo, take your time with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yo, slow down. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? We're in this do, digital bro. age. We moving fast. Yo, slow down. Take your time. You feel what I'm saying? Press play on that. You know what I mean? Smoke your L, do your, do your little drink, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And just enjoy it. This, I got this, you. This, use your imagination and just enjoy it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because y'all be getting caught up in this, like, work of this, of this aspect of this shit, like the research part of it. Yeah. So I definitely and, and I, look, yo, I'm and let me one one last thing. I know this joint going on, but look, yo, we got more new music coming, like right around the corner. Right around the corner, there's more new music coming. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be straight music. So if y'all just wanna, you know what I'm saying, get that off. Hey, you we, you got both of them to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Now you got this this beautiful audio comic book to listen to, and then you also got some just like bars and bops, and you know what I'm saying, some ill shit to listen to. So yeah. like, yo, I'm 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 here to like feed the fans and also the people who are looking for something different, something unique. Um, something entertaining and something you know that they ain't heard before. Yeah, and I'm yeah. shooting arrow, and I'm here with F man, F Nicholas F, but F it's big just... F, the Almighty F, the Anointed F. Feel me? That's it. That's for the TV. We got a special yeah. episode, and we out. Yes, sir. <laughs>